time of the year that I like. It's the spring that I don't care for. Yeah, that's not so thing. nice. Yeah, yeah, that's when it's pretty tough. It's a little painful. All right, yes. what are we looking at weather-wise here? All right, we are looking at a fairly nice setup at least through the next few hours, but things are going to get more interesting as a winter storm moves into our direction. Here's a look at Angel Fire Resort from Agua Fria Peak. You can see just a few clouds streaming through the sky. We've had a fairly nice Saturday, but this is one area over the next 48 hours that could be picking up a little bit of light snow as we are watching that winter storm moving into our direction. In fact, we have winter storm warnings already in effect across the San Juans of Colorado. This is in effect for tomorrow and Monday. Above 9,500 feet, we could be looking at four to eight inches of snowfall here. We also have some winter weather advisories just east of there. So we are looking at perhaps our first significant snowfall of the season across the northern mountains, at least more significant than we've seen so far. 68 degrees, the current temperature, a south-southeast wind at 22 miles per hour, gusting up to 28. So it is rather breezy out there, and we're going to continue to see the winds over the next day or so as this storm starts to move through. Right now, all the way down to 59 degrees in Durango. As you look over toward the northern portion of New Mexico, we're in the low 60s, down to the south, as warm as the 70s in a few locations. But we're down in the mid-60s from Roswell down toward Hobbs and Carlsbad in the upper 60s. As we take a look at those winds, there are a few gusty locations across the northeast where we're seeing gusts anywhere from 25 to 35 miles per hour. And across west central portions of the state where gusts are anywhere from 20 miles per hour in Socorro up to 32 in TRC and 30 in Gallup. So we we are dealing with some breezy pockets around the state, and we're going to continue to deal with that wind during the day tomorrow. And we're already starting to see a few of those showers develop across the four corners as the storm starts to move through. Also dealing with a little bit of light rainfall just south of Carlsbad. And we're going to see this action really increase over the next 24 hours as that storm system moves in. We have quite a bit of shower activity already going from Utah over toward Nevada and into California as well. And that's going to move into our direction. And it's also going to drag in a cold front. So that's going to be the firing point for some of those showers during the day tomorrow. We're already starting to see some of those showers across the four corners. We'll continue to see that through tonight. Then as this front starts to make progress across the state during the day tomorrow, we'll see central sections, including the Albuquerque metro area, with a few scattered showers and storms out there. We'll also be dealing with the winds throughout the day tomorrow as well. Then on Monday, those showers start to move toward the eastern part of the state. We'll hold on to a few of those snow showers across the far northern or far higher portions of the northern mountains through Monday. But we'll also start to usher in that colder air as we start to clear from west to east. And Tuesday looking to be a very nice day with lots of sunshine. But it is going to be cool as those temperatures stay down. Albuquerque back into the 50s as we start next week. Southern Colorado will be looking at temperatures into the 40s for tomorrow with the chance that showers and we'll continue with that high mountain snow across the San Juans throughout the day tomorrow before we clear out early next week. Over in the northwest, scattered showers through the day tomorrow. We'll start to see clearing early next week, but temperatures back into the 50s. Over the southwest, showers for tomorrow here as well. Winds gusting up to 35 miles per hour. We'll see those afternoon highs drop into the mid 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Over the southeast, we'll be looking at some showers and storms during the afternoon. Highs into the 70s tomorrow, but we're down into the 60s by Tuesday and Wednesday. Perhaps a chance to have a few more showers by late next week. Over the northeast, we'll see winds gusting up to 45 miles per hour, and then that cool down into the upper 40s by Tuesday. Over the northern mountains, we'll see rain turning over to snow late tomorrow into tomorrow night. Winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour, and then that cool down for early next week. Over the east mountains, showers for tomorrow. Winds gusting up to 40 miles per hour. Temperatures back into the 50s to start next week. In the metro, we'll be in the 60s for tomorrow with some scattered showers and storms. It will be breezy and then here comes that cool down. Only the upper 50s for Monday and Tuesday before we start to warm those temperatures back up toward the end of the week. Back in the 70s again? Yeah, by next weekend. Man, oh yes. man. <laughs> when is it ever going to be fall? Well, it's going to be a roller coaster ride, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, yeah. John.